Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. Dr. Mizanur Rehman Kazi, TMC MLA from Raja Bala constituency, submitted a suggestion to the expert committee on reservation requesting 5% reservation from the general pool for the Desi Muslims of the Plain Belt. On his recommendation, Dr. Kazi provided the ancestral details of the Muslim community who had lived here from 1600 AD during the Mughal era. In response to the Kasi Hills demand for higher reservation shares and Garo Hills demand for the status quo, he stated that this may be accomplished without harming the Kasi Jaintia and Garu Reservation quotas. The Kasi Students Union or KSU has established another inner line permit or ILP checkpoint at National Highway 6 in Umkiang East Jaintia Hills on Monday. This measure aims to prevent the entry of suspected illegal migrants into the state. This is the third ILP checkpoint set up by the KSU with previous checkpoints located in Paham Maulain village and Athyabari Road in West Kasi Hills. The KSU has taken this action as a form of protest to pressure the government into implementing the ILP and the Meghalaya Resident Safety and Security Act or MRSSA. The National Testing Agency or NTA has announced a retest for affected common university entrance test or CUET UG students. On July 19, the exam will be administered via computer-based testing or CBT. All affected candidates have received emails with the subject codes. The admit cards for all affected candidates will be distributed soon. The State Council of Science, Technology and Environment of Meghalaya launched the Meghalaya Start 30 Guiding Aspirations for NEET exams on Monday at the SIRD campus in Nongsdare Riboy District. Professor Dr. Nalin Mehta, Director of Negrims, was the event's chief guest alongside other dignitaries. The Meghalaya Start 30 program provides free residential tutoring for Class 12 Science Stream graduates seeking admission to medical colleges throughout the country. A total of 48 students from throughout the state were chosen based on specific criteria. On Monday, Chief Minister Imanta Biswa Sarma handed appointment letters to 41 youths claiming that his government has employed 97,495 people in the last three years. He ceremonially handed them the Education Department's job letters and they were assigned to positions ranging from grade 4 to college teachers in various educational institutions. The Chief Minister also announced some major changes in the recruitment process for the grade 3 and grade 4 government examinations. He stated that starting this year, a negative marking system will be used for grade 3 and 4 exams. On Monday, the Directorate of Vigilance and Anti-Corruption or DVAC of Assam nabbed one person on alleged bribery allegations in South Salmara. Sub-Inspector UB Fozayel Hussein of Fakir Ganj Police Station in South Salmara District was caught accepting a bribe from a complainant in a pawn shop in front of the police station. The bribe was allegedly given in exchange for relief from a criminal case. Hussein has been detained by DVAC while further legal actions are being carried out. A member of the United Liberation Front of Assam Independent or Alpha I surrendered to police at the Jerampur station in Arunachal Pradesh, Changlang district. According to reports, a 20-year-old Alpha I rebel identified as self-styled Lance Corporal Dhanjay Sonawal allies Bokul Assam fled from the group scam in Myanmar and surrendered to the police. Dhananjay has been transferred from Jairampur to Margarita for legal formalities. According to sources, the surrendered cadre Dhananjay hails from Borbora in the Dibrugarh area of Upper Assam. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon. Meet